everyone. So I thought I would do a quick New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. I have done the majority of my face already. I've done my foundation, I've done my lips, which is Jeffree Star's Weirdo because let's be super real, who doesn't have a black lipstick that they wanna wear whenever they can? So we're going to make this look revolve around the black lipstick. So, what we're using today is a eyeshadow palette that I've used before. It is super, super affordable. It is by Wet n Wild. Um, and it's called the Au Naturel number 10 Light to Medium. These are the colors here. They're very pretty, very pigmented. There is some fallout, so since I've already done my face, um, except for the highlighting, I might have to go over it a little bit again with my Beauty Blender in case there's some fallout. That's the only hard thing about this Wet n Wild palette. However, there are some higher end palettes that I own that I find have the same issue. Um, the Urban Decay Naked palettes that I have, I find have lots of fallout as well. So I don't want to say it's the price point. I think it just happens to be the formula. I'm going to be using two different eyeshadow brushes today, a flat brush and a regular eyeshadow brush. Um, this is an inexpensive kit that I got for Christmas. Um, I think it was like $15 on Amazon and they're all synthetic, easy to clean, super soft, super, super affordable. I think there's maybe like 12 or so brushes in there, all different shapes and sizes. So. We're not here to talk about the brushes. We're here to talk about the eye look. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start with our base, which is going to be this lightest color here. I always like to do that even though I've primed my eyes and um, put foundation all over. I just still like to start with a base color here. So we're gonna put that all over the eye. Lid, all over the eye, lid. So you feel you have to add that part. Just to make sure that everything is blended nicely. The next shade that I'm going to use as a transitioning shade is this fourth from the end here. Eh. This guy right here. It's kind of like a mauve purpley color. And you're just going to use a little bit because again, this is very pigmented. You can even dust some off if you'd like. And we're gonna put that in the crease here. See how I barely used any? Tons of pigment. And see the fallout there. So I'm just gently putting that in the crease area. And then for just a smidge more depth, I'm going to take this color here, the third from the end, just dab it in. And we're gonna go ahead and just kind of add that to the end here. And again, as you could see, I barely touched the palette. I dabbed it. I'm using these darker transition-y colors because I'm going to end up with a darker look in the end. So I'm gonna check real quick, since we've been down this road before, can't see very far away. Same brush, I'm gonna go ahead and go all over with eh, this middle shade here. It's kind of middly. We're gonna take that and put that all over the bottom part of the lid right here. And of course, with any shimmery shade,
you tend to have a little bit more fallout or even a little less pigment. Now to slightly smoke out this look, because we want dramatics, it is a holiday, we're going to go into this gray gun little color here. Same brush, lightly dab, get the fallout off, and just put that right in the outer corners. Just for a little extra definition. Same on this side. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna go in one more time with this middle glittery shade and just dab it a little bit because I want to make sure everything is blended nicely. Just like that. Like I said, I just took a little bit make sure I get any excess off. And just blend it all in together. Now, because we've used pretty dark, shiny, shimmery colors, I'm gonna take my flat brush, this guy right here, and I'm gonna go into the second color here, this highlight shade. My nose itches. And I'm just dab that in there, because what we're gonna do is we're now gonna go into the brow. Just make sure there's a little extra shimmer there. To kind of complement or offset the darkness. And then just to add a little pop of color, I like to use this gold color here. Take that with the flat brush. And I'm gonna take the side of the flat brush like I just dumped a whole bunch <laughs> and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner of my eye here just kind of offset all of the darkness that we've just done and any little mistakes like that one, since I can't see what I'm doing, I'll just blend in up here. Same on this side. I can't be the only one that has struggles with colors. And just for good measure, I'm gonna go back into that first color I used and bring that up and into the brow bone. Just to kind of offset everything, make sure everything is blended nicely. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and add my highlight, which I'm gonna reach over here real quick for my fan brush. And what we're gonna use for our highlight, I'm gonna go into the Nikki Tutorials Too Faced palette. Her highlighter is down here. I'm just kind of gonna go in there a little bit. And fan this out. Just make sure I add a little extra glow because again, like I said, I had a lot of dark colors there and I, I absolutely love highlighter like you don't have to at all use 
what I use. I use excessively. So there's my highlight. Oh, I just bit my mouth. You're not supposed to eat it. But fun fact, it does taste like chocolate. So you can also um, do some winged liner, which this girl isn't going to do because this girl will jack it up severely, but what she is going to do, she's going to take her other very inexpensive item, which is Maybelline's Falsies Big Eyes Mascara. Um, I always open the wrong one first. Ah, upper lash. This has two different size brushes. Upper eye, lower upper eye, upper lid, lower lid. I'm going to use my tiny little mirror here to see what I'm doing. And I have to admit, I don't like using false lashes because my lashes are... Eh, I got some on my eyelid anyway. I think my eyelashes are long enough without them. Um, but if you have, um, thinner eye lashes or shorter eyelashes, I would definitely recommend checking this out. So before I do my bottom lid, there's one thing that I wanted to do real quick. And this definitely helps when you're using darker colors on your eyes. I'm running out of places to do things. Throw that on the toilet seat. When I use darker colors on my eyes, I like to use this milk stick by NYX on my under eye. Just to make sure I bring out. The brightness goes on very smoothly. And then this way, if I got any on my eyelashes, which tends to happen, I can go over it with the mascara and this is the smaller wand for your lower lashes. You know, it would be a miracle if one day I didn't actually draw all over my eyelashes. It would be truly a miracle. So again, this is definitely something that you can add some winged lines for. I'm not going to try and do that to you because it's going to take another 20 minutes just to put those on. But here is the look. I'll come in a little bit closer. This big glob of mascara, Lord help me. Never start messing with mascara mistakes until it's dry because then you can just scrape it off. Fun fact for people who are like me and mess that up a lot. But again, here is the finished eye look. And that was using this puppy. Inexpensive. Great colors. So I hope you have a wonderful and safe Happy New Year. I can feel this knee. Oh. Oh. I wonder if I can edit that out of here. I'm not that good at it yet. Look. Because I was going to sneeze. Oh, I suck at mascara, guys. Actually, I'm not going to blame that on me. I'm going to blame that on um, nature. Oh, oh, beauty blender. Anyway, I hope you guys all have a safe and happy new year. And I hope 2017 is so much better than 2016 because we've had a struggle with this year. So 
again. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful night. Have a great rest of your week. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye.